Kim and Shelby are going to sail further upstream to see if they can find anything different. It's not as deep, but we have a bit of a different substrate. Meters. Let's see if we get here. I see someone. Oh, there's a red. That's what we wanted. We got at least one that we were after. Red shiner. Red shiner. Gonna I've got some mud on my hands, but a red shiner. They usually kind of have a, a bluish tinge to them right in here with red fins. He's a minnow. Pretty common. Yeah, they're very common. Um, very tolerant to pollution. You can pretty much find them pretty, pretty much anywhere. Especially in male breeding colors, that blue triangle behind right the here. gill flap will really show up get really red on their fins. Um, just a pretty robust fish from dorsal to ventral, from back to belly. There we go. Red shiner. Yay! It's one of the two we wanted to catch. There we got two long ears. So especially on these, they're both long ears. But, I mean, there's still a difference between them, especially their ears, if I can hold these in the right direction. Because <laughs> this one's pretty, has a small ear, even though it's still a long ear, that bottom one. This top one is quite large and big, even if you flip them over. That one's a little bit bigger than the other side. But, and they can be all colors of the rainbow. They're still long ear sunfishes. They're all pretty. All very common. Tolerant to pollution. This is another bluegill sunfish. It's going to have a black dot in the soft dorsal. We'll have the blue green radiating bars. Very long pointed pectoral fin, arm fin goes up past its head. Kind of a medium shaped mouth. It's going to be eating on bugs. Very tolerant to pollution, very common in Oklahoma. That has algae on it. Probably a long ear sunfish. Seeing that a purple ear flap is like not even long at all. But kind of a younger one, maybe like two years old or a year old or something. But definitely a long ear sunfish, kind of young. And we got our silver side. weird looking fish. But they're going to be swimming towards the top of the waters, eating things. It's kind of floating, flying around on top. Is that it? Yep. Not too shabby. Quite a bit different habitat up here. Very, um, uh, what am I trying to say? Shallow. Um, bedrock. Shallow, but, uh, bedrock. Yes. Bedrock is the word I was uh, after. Lots of bedrock ridges. Pretty shallow. 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 Shallow.
uh, kind of explore around here a little bit more. We'll see if we can find anything else and um, we'll tape it and show it to you later if we manage to find anything else. Um, other than that, I just recommend Aaron, hey, come right out now. to Martin Nature Park. Beautiful place amongst the concrete jungle to come explore, be one with nature. Birding, awesome place to come out here and do that. Um, sometimes you can find frogs, turtles, all sorts of wildlife. Um, they do have a nature education center in Deer that often has different programs and stuff like that. Um, awesome place. We don't recommend coming in and fishing. Leave that to us. <laughs> there you go. Fishing only for the uh, few pros that uh, they allow to do out here. We do it for education. Okay. All right. Bye, everybody. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time.